you stop? Wouldn't that be cool to do? Wow. All right, let's talk about that. Yeah. Circle, not a sponsor. Pluto, a sponsor. Yes, Pluto. Pluto is a planet. Never forget. I, know. I love that shirt so much. So, uh, today on Five Minutes with Ranky, I love the wind in my hair as I'm traveling down the river. Oh my goodness. And I love waves. Like, I love fishing. Like, I. I fished all the time on vacation for 15 years. You would come up here. Then we moved here in eight years. Guess what I haven't done in eight years? I know, babe. You Fishing. Gotta, you got to make it a priority. <sighs> I'm not complaining. Anyway, <laughs> it's beautiful up here, especially fall. Have you seen the colors? Squirrel. So the wind and the waves. We, we had that problem down in Florida. I know. Oh, my gosh. Those poor people. Devastation all over the place. I'm praying for them, and uh, hopefully we can help them somehow. I know. Crazy weather. Crazy weather. Um, so, wouldn't it be cool to go down to Florida and when the storm was coming in and the waves were rising that you just say, stop it, and it stopped? That would be, like, really cool. Now, I, we're not God, okay? We're not Jesus, but that would be really cool. I mean, and obviously, if we had that power, hopefully you would acknowledge that Jesus gave you that power and you have no power at all. Anyway, <clears throat> so in Matthew, Matthew is this really cool book. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, four Gospels. Gospel means good news. So they, it, it's like a diamond. Okay, when you look at a diamond, there's all kinds of facets and, and, and perspective. And you look on this side, and it's beautiful on this side. Maybe there's a scratch. But a diamond is, is like... The Gospels. There's four different people, four different views, and they all talk about the same thing. Now, their words might be different, but they're all talking about Jesus and how he changed the world with his teaching, with authority and love and compassion and understanding and patience and healing and just this overwhelming love for, for his people. And their personalities are in their books. And their personalities so, came certainly. out. Like Luke was a doctor, so he's going to have more detail of doctor stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, Matthew was a tax collector, so he's going to have numbers. He's going to have, uh, you know, lineage and things like that. Uh, Mark is a, the shortest of the Gospels, uh, but that reflects his, you know, his personality. John, very high Greek, very high uh, language, and so that, he doesn't even mention the birth of Christ. He this just like goes deeper. right into the, right into Jesus' ministry. And his is a little bit deeper. So he had these four Gospels, and so Matthew tax collector, um, has this, he, he was there and he's writing these things down through the Holy Spirit and they were on a boat. Okay. They, they went out on a boat. Jesus needed to rest. Jesus sleeping. Everybody else is in the boat. This huge storm comes up and you know, Jesus is like sleeping. Everybody's like, we're going to die. Hey, Jesus, wake up. And then he wakes up and he, he says, he rebukes the wind and the waves and they stop. I, I think it's cool, though. First, he says, why are you afraid? Right. He said, you have little faith. So here we go. This is what his reply is. Matthew 8, 26. He replied, Jesus, you have little faith. Why are you so afraid? Then he got up and rebuked the winds and the waves, and it was completely calm. So some of those storms uh, where they were sailing were crazy. I mean, it came on fast, and then it stopped. Um, but this one kept going and going and going, and they had no idea what to do. So if Jesus is on board, <laughs> might as well go with it. Um, and so he's saying that he had, they had little faith because Jesus was right there. Oh, think, think, I, can I say something? Yeah. Think about like us today, like our crazy storms that we have, not like like at, like literal storms. Like mental, like emotional, our, spiritual. Yeah. yeah. And then he's like, dude, why are you afraid? Like, I'm here with you. Like, Just ride it out. Yeah. <laughs> And then he not only does that, there's a Greek word. And when it says completely calm, like it didn't like take seconds or minutes for it to calm down. Like, oh, yes. it's. But when he rebuked it, it literally in a half a second or a millisecond stopped. Like it was calm. There was no waves. There was no storm. The clouds went away. Just like that. 
I mean, Jesus has that much power and his name even has power too. I mean, we can say to the devil, get away from me, Satan, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, Jesus is powerful, even in his name. Um, and it's just like the coolest thing. So if we want to have true faith, put your faith in Jesus. Not the storms around you, not the craziness, not the, you know, your health, your wealth, or your mental state. Put your trust in Jesus, and we can weather any storm because he can calm it in our hearts. I love you. Jesus loves you too. My challenge for you today is trust Jesus more. Have a good Wednesday. Hump day! I'll see you later.